This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Philippines Uncut. I'm your host, Buddy Konana. Now, on this show, we talk about everything under the sun. And tonight is a very interesting topic. It's a part two of our Back to School series. And we're going to talk about homeschooling. Very interesting topic. And joining us are three homeschool advocates, uh, uh, Cesc Ditafan, Anna Quintanar, and Lani Bersua. So join us and lead us through this very interesting discussion on homeschooling. Welcome, ladies, to Philippines Uncut. Well, hello. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Pleasure to have you here because actually this is a a very interesting topic for me and for, for a lot of people because it's so it's it's, it's very different no? mm -hmm. a different a, a different approach to education and school your your children now mm -hmm. before we start let's talk about you ladies a little background first starting with uh, Cess. okay so my background really was I was in market research for quite a few years so it's corporate and then when our son turned three years old and he's ready to go to school we decided as a couple that I would leave the corporate world and do homeschooling. So I'm really into market research and marketing. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Anna? I'm a graduate of the University of the Philippines and I was into design and real estate. Um, when I got married, we realized that uh, we would be doing a lot of traveling. So we decided to homeschool. Interesting. Lani? I'm a mother of three, um, and I used to be a preschool teacher, but now I'm a full-time homemaker. Wow, and homeschooler. Yes. For all three kids? Uh, no, just the younger two. How about you two ladies? I mean, uh, for your kids, do you homeschool all of them, or is it, is it like the uh, same, same situation as, as, uh, as Lani? Yeah, well, in our case, um, we have a seven-year-old and a one-year-old, so... Uh, the one-year-old, not yet, Yes, course, of but. Course. Eventually, she will also be homeschooled. Anna, how about you? I have a 12 and a, a six-year-old, and they're both homeschooled. Interesting. Now, for the sake of our viewers, let's define homeschooling. What does it mean when you say you are homeschooling a child? What does it mean? Start off. Um, well, basically, for us, when we say homeschooling, some would say it's literally school at home. But really, it's your learning inside the home, not just your academics, but also life skills. Like you learn to deal with a lot of problems, like you also learn household chores, how to deal with daily life. Is it yeah. ladies? We develop their interests. Yeah. Like um, when we see that there's interest in art, we encourage uh, interest in science, we take them to museums. Hmm. So literally we think of the world as their classroom. Right. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, for us, we, we're focusing on the values yes. formation, actually. And the learning is very hands-on, very practical. And they learn everything, life skills, like what they said, uh, practical now, things. What got you ladies into homeschooling? Now, um, I know Anna answered a question in mm -hmm. her opening uh, statement. She said that she and her husband 
travel mm -hmm. a lot, and so mm -hmm. it, it was a natural fit that they should bring their kids with them, and homeschooling yes. is yes. a good solution to that. Yes. But how about you two ladies, and especially you, you Ladi, you used to be a teacher in a traditional setting. Yeah. What got you into homeschooling? I mean, it's something very different. Well, actually, as a teacher, being a teacher, uh, my standards for schools are very high. Mm. So when my, my eldest daughter started going to grade school, um, uh, nothing, uh, what do you, what, nothing fit to my standards, okay. something like that. All so, right. and also um, we feel, my husband and I feel that um, we should center more on the values of the child. And um, I'm not sure if schools nowadays are, mm -hmm. Yeah, talking about that much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that yeah. Much. Um, in our case, since we're attending this Christian church, a lot of our friends have been homeschooling, and we were intrigued, like before we got children, pa. So I, 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 we actually talked about it as a couple, and I think it was impressed upon us that we would really homeschool our children because we saw how these children grew up, and they were so well-rounded not just intelligent but so well-rounded and we knew a few homeschoolers who's into the corporate world yeah, already yeah. and they're the best employees you can have yeah. yeah so i told my husband i want that for my kid yes. you know not just yes. intellect but but how does it work i mean how does school homeschooling work do you like example are there modules how do you what guidelines do you ladies follow to make sure you, your children are you know receiving the proper education that are you know, suitable for, for uh, children their age or, 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 or their level. Right. How do you do it? No, well, we no. have uh, no. We have homeschool providers okay. yes. yeah. there, and they provide the well a list of books. Yeah. Um, and also, they're debit credit accredited okay, yes. as well. Okay. Yes. So the grading system. Um, it's based on debit standards. Yes. Yeah. There. And so yeah. actually, um, there's an option for for parents to go the debit accredited um, part, or you can go independent. Like right. we know, we have. Independent. Yes, we yes. have homeschooling friends who are not enrolled with any debit accredited providers. Yeah. So they come up with their own curriculum, and that's it. So they just <laughs> study whatever the child is. Um, loving like if the child is more into arts or sports astronomy so yeah. the, the child is not really limited but if it's not debt ed regulated how do you know that that what you're teaching is is, is you know, sufficient, uh, sufficient or, or up to the standard or who monitors this how do you gauge your child's development vis-a-vis -vis his or her peers um, actually, that's a good question. But, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's always been asked around the Because you the ladies have modules. Yes. You yes. said there is a yes. provider yes. that gives yes. you ladies modules. And, and it's pretty cut and dry, I, I assume. Yes. Right. That you, you follow a certain, a certain week or a certain month. There are targets. There are you mm -hmm. know, right. performance uh, mm -hmm. measures as well. Yeah. And so it works. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. it's, mm -hmm. not as, it's not as free-flowing as it sounds. Yes. No. Yeah. But still <laughs> very you. flexible. Yes. Yeah. 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 But really, about your question, who, who said that a grade schooler can learn just this? Like, the current curriculum of a grade one student. You could be holding a child back. Yes, right. exactly. Right. Because he, he has to go with the herd, so right. to speak, right? Yes. He can go ahead. So yeah. we Good cannot point. gauge it. Like, if DepEd says that a grade one student should learn just this, our homeschooler, our homeschooling <laughs> kids, they study astronomy as early as grade one. Right. And yes. they can talk about the solar system, about how to make robots, how about engineering. With well, zest. Well, I can't talk yes. about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, wow. Wow. You know, it's, if we're just following the rules yeah. here, but really we're going beyond what DepEd says what should be. Yeah. But how does it work? Do you guys have class every day, or is it really up to you? Is it flexible in that sense, the time, or I mean, uh... no two days are alike. Mm -hmm. So, like, let's say, you know, um, one day can find us in a museum in Hong Kong. The other day, we can be doing um, like bank transactions. We 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 make sure that they're these are kids, right? Yes, yes. that they are aware <laughs> of what's happening yeah. outside. So the day-to-day -day living, 
they already know as early as now. Mm. Like, like, like uh, we take them to construction sites. They know how it is to build a house, meet with suppliers. Or, or get into s stores mm -hmm. and and I make my, I make my child uh, do that to talk to people to talk to uh, professionals yeah. Yeah. so that they know how it is to talk to older people yeah. at the same time talk to laborers yeah. right. now, how do you gauge your kids against let's say other kids who go to regular schools because like I mean okay they seem very advanced but mm -hmm. when they take tests for instance okay. I mean are there tests that, that they take Yes. That, that gauge their performance against, let's say, their peers in the same age bracket. Yes. Yes. Yeah, there are do. standardized right. standardized, standardized tests. tests. Yes. Part yes. of the modules that you get, yes. that, yes. that, that you ladies are given. Yes. That you ladies are given. Yes. yes. Well, it depends really on the provider. Some providers are very strict with those mm -hmm. standardized exams, but there are certain providers that would give the parents leeway on, like, we get the free hand on the exams but still following a bit of the curriculum that we were prescribed mm -hmm. yes. yeah so so that's how you gauge or you track your child's right. performance right okay now um in your room in your role as homeschoolers do you have to be teachers as well you have to or are you teachers or are you uh, facilitators so so to speak what is your role really um for my older yeah. son i'm more of a facilitator but for my second son, who's six years old, uh, I do everything. Yeah, yeah. Come to yeah. The for my case, really the teacher, principal, and all. <laughs> so guidance hard? counselor. Is that also hard? Because, you know, when I went to school, you know, there, there was a difference between how I saw my parents and mm -hmm. how I saw the teacher. I mean, I would definitely follow the teacher because me, okay. me, in those days, you know, the teacher could smack you probably. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we can do the same. Yes. In homeschool, you can still yeah. do it. <laughs> I, you know, I tended to follow my teachers more than I would follow my parents okay. because of that, you know, that lack of familiarity. Okay. But is it a problem for parents no. when you teach your, your children? Mm -hmm. that, that kind of authority that, that, you know, perhaps they won't be as obedient to you as they would be to a teacher, let's say, who is not too attached to them and vice versa. Mm -hmm. No. Well, for our home, uh, there's no cut anymore between parenting and being a teacher to your child. Because eh. if, you, if you apply your parenting, uh, you're already teaching your child, va again, values, yes. life skills, and all these um, math, reading, mm -hmm. all these subjects already. So mm -hmm. um, there's no clear cut. So it becomes parenting. the home becomes one whole learning environment. Right. Yes. Yes. right. That you engage a child mm -hmm. in learning in whatever mm -hmm. you you you, yes. you ladies do. As you said yes. uh, in in your case, Anna, you said bank transactions yes. or construction yes. or anything. Yes. This is, these yes. are all very advanced. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. I have to say. What about? Aren't you ladies worried that perhaps your child is missing out on that classroom environment? You know, we all grew up going to school with thirty other kids or forty yes. other kids, and you know that. For us, it became like automatic when you say school, classroom, mm -hmm. okay. classmates. Mm -hmm. yes. In homeschooling, you don't have any of that. Mm -hmm. yes. I mean, are, are you ladies worried that perhaps your children are, are not, are not, won't benefit from that experience, will, are, are lacking that experience? Let's put that way. I think they have more to gain because um, the attention is really based on what, what they need as individuals. And at the same time, we also provide them socialization. We yes. have a group called Quezon City Homeschoolers. Yeah. Yeah. So we make sure that... Um, so they meet, they interact with other yes. homeschool yes. kids yes. as well. Yes, we meet once a week. Okay. And they yes. do different activities together. In fact, they have more friends now compared to when my eldest daughter used to go to a regular school. She has more sets of friends now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because she goes, like what they Art said, classes. yeah, they... They, we have a co-op, a, a QC homeschooler group, and uh, she also goes to a music class, mm -hmm. an art class, PE class. Yes. So she has more friends now. <laughs> <laughs> Different sets of classes. Very nice. That's right. Very interesting. And you know, um, we have to pause for a break, but okay. we're going to come back and we're going to meet some uh, mothers who are actually okay. uh, working. Working mothers who are making homeschooling uh, work for them. Yeah. I mean, okay. Because you three are stay-at-home moms, yes. really, but we're going to meet some of your colleagues who are actually full-time employees, and we'll talk about right. how they how they're making it work, basically. Sure. Excellent, okay. guys. Right. More of uh, stay tuned because more of uh, is homeschooling for you when Philippines Uncut returns.